Welcome back to tutorial number three of the Emergency Hack Animation channel. If you just joined us, if you're just starting up fresh, uh, go ahead and open up chapter three, tutorial three project. It'll have everything that you see right here with the exception of none of this stuff going on. If you're picking up from where you left off, if you just watched tutorial two, here's how you clean stuff up. Click this and then click this. So you've got both those tracks selected. And then from underneath the track commands, do delete track. It's going to ask you if you really want to do that, and you say yes. And now we're just left with one animation track going on. So delete the last pose and delete the first pose. Click on the pose and hit the delete key on your keyboard or the backspace key. Okay, that's going to leave every, all the animation is going to be gone. These objects are attached to this track. So if you delete this one too, you'll delete everything in the entire project. So one last thing, if you ever want to be, if uh, things are acting freaky and you want to make absolutely certain that everything's gone, all those tweaks, remember this is a hackathon right now, so we're just sort of tweaking things into position. If you want to make sure, select the pose and then come down to the animation controls and look right down here where it says reset all. This will reset the tweaks and reset the pose controls over here. So click reset all and that cleans everything out and uh, gets rid of all the animation that might be stuck inside of this pose right here. Okay, now a very, very useful thing to do is spinning animations. Spinning animations happen all the time. And since ProAnimator does not use keyframes, people can sometimes get a little snarled up trying to do them. And they're actually really super easy. Here's how you do it. Uh, you don't even need to create a second pose to do this. We've got these things called actions. So this is the one place I am going to have to make you look down here into this, into the animation controls, way over to the right. Now there's a little dragger here, so we can drag this thing over, and we've got this thing here called a pose action. So we have pose actions for movement, pose actions for visibility, and pose actions for fragmentation, where you get to chop things up and scatter them around the scene. So we're going to use the motion uh, action. And if you click where it says action right here, it says spin, pitch, or roll. Okay, each one of these is a different type of spin. Spin Y is the one that sort of spins it around, you know, in an up and down, uh, like it's spinning around a broom handle. Uh, so we do that. And then we can enter the rotation of, say, 360 degrees, and then play it back. Uh, let's adjust these guys. There we go. And hey, we've got a spin, right? But that's may or may not be what it is that you're looking for. You'll see that what it's doing, of course, is it's spinning every object individually because, hey, that's it doesn't know what you really want. But down here, we've got an option called Use Common Center. And by clicking that on, you'll then get a complete spin just the way you may have been expecting it. So that's how you get a very simple spin. Now adjusting the timing is just a matter of making this segment longer or shorter. So if you want a slower spin, you just make the segment longer, and then you see it's going slower or make it even slower still, like that. Notice you never have to actually stop it or do a RAM preview. It's always playing back so that you can make adjustments as you go. It keeps the workflow very, very fast. Okay, let's say this is the speed that you want it to be. Uh, if we want to make this exactly six seconds, what we can do is click on this and then come down to the animation controls. And now we're, we need to go back to the right. So we'll slide this all the way over. And here we can see the start and the end times for this one particular pose. So if we want it, actually, it's, it's set for exactly a six second animation right now. So now what we can do is set the stop marker to the end. Remember how to do uh, snapping? You hold down the shift key and then drag this and you'll see it start to snap. It'll snap right onto the end just like that. And this is good with the exception of it's going to have the same, uh, it's going to have 0 and 360 as the last frame at the beginning and end. So there's going to be a very a one frame hitch in it right when it gets back to that spot. So to fix that, it's very simple. Come down here again to this spot we've got here and type in uh, 6. So 6 colon 00. And when you hit that, it'll make the whole segment one frame longer, which removes that extra duplicated frame. And then you'll have a completely smooth looping animation just like that. There you go.